Yo, what's up everyone? Silver Slayer, welcome back for another video. So today I wanted to make more of an educational video on some more secure solutions for your cryptocurrency and storing your cryptos, storing your wealth as safely and securely as possible. So this is actually going to be made from my personal experience and how I did this. So Yes, we talk about how Exodus Wallet is a great desktop wallet to use, and it is. You know, leaving your leaving your cryptocurrencies on exchanges like Coinbase, Poloniex, Bitrix, or wherever is um, severely severely risky, and you see this happen all the time where people's funds get hacked and they lose all their money, and the exchange either is shut down or is offline when like for for days or weeks at a time and you can't take your funds out cuz all your money is basically in the hands of someone else because you don't own the private keys so that's why we always say you know own a desktop wallet like Exodus Jack's wallet even though Jack's did get hacked uh a couple months or a year ago um but I think I'm pretty sure they they fixed that security breach but you know Exodus wallet's a great wallet because I actually own the private key which means I am the owner of these funds nobody can take these funds out unless they have my 12 word pin or my 12 word code now Exodus is also a little safer because they can on, you can only run one pro you can only run Exodus on one computer at a time so even if someone a hacker did get my code they couldn't really even open my account up as long as my account's running on my computer because it only runs one um, computer at a time. Now, I'm sure there's ways to get around that, and this is why I'm taking some more precautious me measures as I start to really get a lot of Bitcoin and it starts to, pi to pile up in the tens of thousands of dollars over the next couple of years. I don't feel comfortable having my money on Exodus, and even if you look at Exodus, um, they make a disclaimer saying, you know, there are safer solutions. This is more of your checking account. And if you want a savings account for your, you know, your, your, your large, large amounts of money, then it's safer to get a hardware wallet. Now, this is called a hot wallet. An Exodus wallet is a hot wallet because it has to be online for it to work. There's also things called cold wallets, which is a hardware wallet. Now, a cold wallet is, you know, for example, the Trezor or what I'm about to show you guys, which is the Ledger Nano S. Now, this is actually a very, very secure way to store your Bitcoin because it's offline, nobody can hack it, and you own your funds 100% off the grid. Now, how this works is this is a little USB, and you connect it to your computer and you download the Ledger app. So once I have the app on my computer installed, I can actually um, have I can use that app offline and transfer the funds, and it and it stores on this, and it actually it shows you your funds on this little screen right here. It'll say I have 0.79 Bitcoin, and it's very 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 it's the most secure way to store your coins, probably other than a paper wallet, which a paper wallet is literally a piece of paper with your bitcoin address and your key on it and you can store it in a safe or wherever and that's literally that's that's literally off the grid that is 100 percent the only way someone could hack that is if they literally went in your house and stole the paper from you and then you know backed up that but the, a hardware wallet extremely extremely safe and ledger nano s is definitely the one that everyone says is the best. Trezor is a lot more expensive. Um, this one's a lot more affordable. It's only it's only sixty nine dollars, and I'm definitely willing to pay seventy bucks to secure potentially thousands upon thousands of dollars worth of Bitcoin. That's definitely worth it to me. You know, I was thinking about doing this earlier, and then I held off for a second. I was like, ah, I'm like, you know what? I already have two thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin. It would be silly of me not to spend a hundredth of that money just to secure that I will never, you know, basically paying $70 to, $70 to make sure that my funds are 100% safe. Now, obviously, there still is ways, like if there's malware on my computer or something and it, it, my computer's already, like, 
there there nothing is 100% for sure but this is definitely the safest safest way to go a cold wallet is definitely the safest way to go now exodus wallet is still safe I just do not feel Exodus wallet is more for your checkings account, you know, like when I'm upgrading Genesis, when I'm getting paid out, you know, on Genesis mining or control finance, I can use my Exodus wallet to even store a couple thousand dollars. That's fine. But when it's coming into, you know, double digits in some serious money, a cold wallet is always the best and safest solution. So I'm going to show you guys how I was able to purchase this. Now they are backed up until September because obviously there's a huge, huge demand for these cold wallets or these hardware wallets because everyone wants them because they want to secure their Bitcoin. They want to secure their cryptos. And this is the this is the way to do it. Um, and you can you can see right here Ledger Nano S is now delayed until September. Orders will ship on a first come first serve basis. So um, it's very user friendly. There's tons of YouTube tutorials on how to you all you do is, you know, you sync it or you, you download the app. You you. um type in your pin you um, connect it's it's very very simple um, to use and it's user friendly which I really like because at first I was kind of like well what if I don't know how to, you know what if I'm it's 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 easy to use trust me anyone is any any beginner even a beginner in a crypto can easily purchase one of these and easily set up their account for on themselves you know um, but anyway so what I did to do this was that you can actually pay with Bitcoin to buy this as well which is very convenient so what you want to do is, you know, you would send, you can either push add to cart, you can pay with Bitcoin and um, the little, um, the, their wallet will pop up and you copy the, you copy the wallet address. You would go into your, your Exodus wallet, send the funds to the address and however much they, they tell you to pay. Now, as you can see, I sent a payment of $64.00. 19 minutes ago but I'm actually going to do this way a little different. Now instead of buying it with Bitcoin which would be the cheaper way because they, they actually give you a, a discount if you do pay with Bitcoin, I wanted to try something out because I've never done this yet and this is an extremely important for me since I do cash out in PayPal with Coinbase since PayPal is instant transactions and also debit card is instant buys so anytime I buy Bitcoin I instantly get it into my account and anytime I withdraw Bitcoin to my PayPal it goes in there instantly and I actually tried this out today and it was instant I withdrawed this um this uh, amount where is it at right right here sold I this thirty eight dollars of Litecoin I sold it went in there absolutely instantly so um it was very 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 easy to use and it was very very fast now the important thing I wanted to do this you know the reason was I wanted to see the timing and I wanted to see um, you know how it all worked because I've actually never done that yet I knew how it worked I knew what to do I just, I just actually haven't done it yet so it does go in there instantly so what I did was I sent my Bitcoin from Exodus to my coinbase um, account and then from coinbase I went to sell and then I sold it to my PayPal and I'm not going to click this and the payment method would come up PayPal actually right here I'm not going to click it though because then my actual PayPal information would show up but all I do is click PayPal type in the amount of US dollars I wanted to cash out and it will go straight to my PayPal account right on this tab up here and then I can buy the Ledger Nano S from my PayPal money or you know I could use my PayPal debit card and go take it to the ATM and cash out dollar bills if I wanted to but for this instance I'm going to be using it to purchase the Ledger Nano S so um, it's very very easy to cash out your cryptocurrency to actual fiat money is extremely extremely simple to use and you can even buy physical silver with Bitcoin now and um, Provident Metals offers a 3% discount if you purchase with Bitcoin so they actually encourage you to pay with Bitcoin JM Bullion does the same thing and silvergoldbull.ca. They encourage you to pay with Bitcoin and they give you discounts, a 3% discount if you do pay with Bitcoin. So um, it's very convenient and it's very easy to use. So anyone that is having trouble that doesn't know how to do this, I've made a video called How to Buy Cryptocurrency for Beginners where I explain everything. This was just showing you know, how I just purchased my Ledger Nano S by transferring my coin, from transferring my Bitcoin from my Exodus wallet 
into Coinbase, sold it on Coinbase to my PayPal, and then I purchased it. But I didn't even have to go through all those steps. I could have simply just pushed add to cart and transferred my Exodus wallet, my Exodus wallet Bitcoin funds straight to the Bitcoin store to purchase this, which would have skipped the step of Coinbase and PayPal. But I obviously didn't choose that option because I just wanted to make sure that Coinbase that I could sell my funds to PayPal instantly. Now I do want to remind you guys I have pending funds in my dashboard right now because um, as you can see this says pending because I, I can show you guys right here um, I think it's right here right now there are Bitcoin transaction delays now um, someone actually asked me this yesterday they said that they purchased some Bitcoin or they withdrew it on Coinbase and it was taking a couple hours for their funds to come in and I was saying I was letting them know well right now Coinbase is experiencing Bitcoin transaction delays so you have to be a little patient your funds are secure they will come through but it says right on right on Coinbase Bitcoin transaction delays we're currently working through a backlog of Bitcoin withdrawals recent or new outbound BC, BTC transactions may remain pending longer than expected so don't worry guys they're just experiencing a lot of what they will come through just be patient and your funds are secure so um, like I said guys do not ever keep your funds on a place like Coinbase or Poloniex or any type of exchange it's extremely risky these sites get hacked all the time only buy and sell on there and then instantly withdraw your funds to a more secure wallet with an actual private key like Exodus like Jax like even copay a lot safer than even the first two but if you want the most safest and secure uh, way possible I highly recommend a cold wallet or a hardware wallet where you can have your own funds offline off the grid so no hacker can even get the funds so that's basically my video I will do an unboxing and share how this works when I get it in September and honestly I, I'm willing to wait a month you can they have these on eBay and Amazon but they're uh, like a hundred and eighty to two hundred dollars so I was not willing to pay an extra hundred and twenty dollars to get it in a week I'm, I can wait an extra three weeks to pay a hundred dollars less you know that that's I'm a patient person I know for the time being Exodus is safe enough where I can still leave my funds on there and in a month then I'll just transfer my Bitcoin to the ledger but it's not as urgent as some people think because August 1st they think oh, I need to get this before August 1st just to make sure well on August 1st if you have a private key your funds are safe so on Exodus your funds are safe on Exodus on August 1st because it's only the exchanges like Coinbase and Poloniex that might be when this hard fork happens if this hard fork happens they would actually be splitting your Exodus wallet still is holding your Bitcoin the reason people are worried about this hard fork on exchanges is because the exchange when it splits might only be holding one or the other so if you have it in Bitcoin it might split into the uh, Bitcoin cash or BTC BTCC um, and that's where it could be a problem but that's only on an exchange like Coinbase because they're the owners of your private keys you don't own your funds on Coinbase you need an Exodus wallet a Jax wallet some type of wallet like that so I hope that cleared everything up for some people and um, if you guys do want to purchase the Ledger Nano S I will post the link in the description of this video you can buy them on eBay and you can get them a little bit quicker but they are triple the price so that's if you're willing to pay that sometimes quadruple the price I saw them for even more than two hundred dollars online so hope you guys enjoyed this video I will be making more videos today check my live stream out tonight and I'll see you for another video peace